Hey guys, how are you guys doing? I hope you're all doing very, very well. I'm back with another video, and this is a very exciting video. And it's been a while. I've done my top five, top six favorite series. I'm back with it, and I'm going to be sharing a lot more of my current favorite products because there's so much that I've tried lately. I've been receiving. so much makeup by god's grace thanks to uh, the prs that i receive the companies the agencies the brands that i work with it's been absolutely amazing and that's why i have a much bigger makeup collection much bigger skin care collection and i really want to start sharing my top favorite non sponsored anything my favorite genuine favorite series today i'm starting with my favorite category and that is lipsticks you all know how much i love nude lipsticks and my favorite lipsticks brand has always been mac like you can never go wrong with a mac lipstick and there are certain lipsticks of mac which are my holy grail for years now and that are always there in my bag in my purse even if i have a the tiniest of clutch that i'm carrying these two lipsticks will always be there and that's how much i love them that's how much i depend on them for my everyday beauty needs everyday makeup looks or even for a party i actually have here with me six uh, mac nude lipsticks which i feel are amazing they're different formulas some are matte some are cream but uh, they are just amazing shades so i wanted to swatch them for you guys and show you my favorite mac nude lipsticks these are all in the brown and pink nude category let's start off with the first and the most iconic nude lipstick from mac this is the mac velvet teddy you know i'm more of a pinkish brown nude lip lover personally but this is one brownish peachy nude which just suits me like a dream this is one lipstick i always finish because i use it so much i'm going to swatch it on my hands also so that you can see the difference of all the five six shades i have here uh, so you can see this is like a peachy brown color like a dull brown color i just have a lip balm on which i always put before any lipstick can you see how rich this color is Can you see this beautiful color? This is the Velvet Teddy by Mac. Guys, this is the beautiful shade. This is Velvet Teddy and it's such a pretty pretty color that it just for your everyday nude lipsticks whether you want to wear it to work or a party or a lunch or whatever. Like if you're looking for that one basic brownish peachy nude color, this is so beautiful. It looks so nice. Like I don't have words to explain how nice this looks, but I'm sure you can see. It has a little uh shine to it. Of course, it's not completely matte, which is actually better. I like a little glossy lip personally. Otherwise, I feel like the lips get very drying and because I wear a lip balm underneath, my lips anyway look very very nourished and that's the trick to have healthy nourished lips even after wearing a lipstick it's always make sure you put a lip balm the most beautiful mac lipstick ever i'm almost over with this i will keep reordering it velvet teddy by mac is a must have these are very long lasting lipsticks you can always touch them up but they don't really like you don't eat them up or anything i love mac lipstick formulas I personally feel like no one does lipsticks better and this color is just so stunning. While I have my loyalties towards the Velvet Teddy, but again this is one lipstick which I have worn the most on literally every important day, on literally every important occasion, every important party, like everywhere I've gone to, this is the lipstick I've fallen back on again my absolute favorite holy grail, most most favorite lipstick and it's actually made for indian women it's made for the indian skin tone which is why it's special because they literally nailed the pink nude color the perfect pink color for the indian skin tone like perfectly with this lipstick and i'm sure you can guess it right this is meher by mac literally one of the most beautiful pink nude colors ever i'm also like halfway through this one beautiful color of this lipstick it's like you know while this is a little peachy brown this is of course pinkish and it's my kind of shade and this literally i think goes with every skin tone you can see the difference in the colors that's velvet teddy for you and this is meher the gorgeous meher i think every time i put meher on i look amazing and i know it Can you see this color? Oh gosh, the most beautiful like a rosy pink color. 
I told you guys, this is one of the best. So this is Meher by Mad guys. It's such a pretty, pretty shade. I love it. It instantly brightens up your face, especially when you, you know, I personally do a lot of natural makeup and on an everyday basis, you would always want to do natural makeup. Uh, this just brightens the whole look, yet it's subtle. It's a brightened uh, nude shade, yet it's obviously very subtle. So I love this. Velvet Teddy and Mehair, my two absolute holy grail lipsticks which I wear on an everyday basis. Sometimes I actually mix them up also. A pinkish and a brownish subtle nude color is a must have in any makeup collection. Look at how beautiful this color is. I love it. It feels so good. Best part about MAC lipstick is that they feel really good on the lips. They're very lightweight. Yet, you know, you know they're, uh, they're long lasting, they're lightweight and they look so beautiful. Yes, there are other MAC lipsticks that I also love and I feel are really really good so this is actually a new addition into my MAC lipstick collection but I'm in love with this shade it's especially very very good for summer when you want to wear like light makeup light lipsticks and you know look very natural so for someone like that this is a very very nice rich uh, subtle color to have uh, it's called down to an art that's the color of this lipstick let me show you it's fairly new so i'm still in the process of using it so you can see it's pretty full it's again a little peachy as you can see so uh, this is the color it's so beautiful guys you can see that is a little brownish this is more peachy the color tones it's so beautiful so let me swatch this for you look at this color it's so subtle so beautiful for days when you want to wear a light lipstick this is just so beautiful What do you guys think? I think it's so pretty. It's a new find and I find it amazing. This is a matte lipstick again, uh, but as always, I make it a little glossy by my lip balms, but that's me guys. That's a personal choice, but these are the three shades I've just tried out. This is down to an art. You can see how beautiful this shade is and how lovely and subtle and like rich the color is i love the shade i love to wear this on lunches i love to wear it when i don't want to wear very heavy duty lipstick suits my skin very well i highly recommend you to try these out before you buy them but if you're a similar skin tone like mine this shade will look really nice okay. for you next up i'm actually not putting the lip balm on now because i want you to see the real texture though the textures of all of them is very nice and smooth on the lips uh, but let's try this one out which is also a matte lipstick uh, this one is a slightly lighter shade it's very different a lot of times I'm in the habit of mixing lip colors and uh, wearing them and they look so pretty every time you wear a little deeper shade and you put this on top oh my god stunning but as a whole as a separately also if you wear this lipstick it's beautiful so let me show you this lipstick is called yash uh, it's also a very popular shade by mac it's a matte lipstick and it's also a little lighter shade it's a nude color and it's actually like a literal nude color for the lips and it's also slightly peachy as well so let me show you on my hands i love this shade it has a very different uh, color so this is like that typical matte formula. So you can see this is a typical matte formula light color nude lipstick. It's really pretty. I feel it looks really smart especially if I have like a smoky eye or a very a uh, heavy duty makeup look on i like to keep my lips subtle for those days the yash comes in handy so this is the fourth shade i've just tried out this is yash one two three four and you can see their tonality of all of them this is pinkish this is very peachy this is brownish peach and this also is a little like lighter brown uh, but this is the shade guys let me know what you think I think it's really really pretty uh, it can wash wash you out sometimes uh, like it depends on what you're wearing it with the makeup look the outfit a lot of this depends on that but a lot of time the trick to make yash work is if you wear a little darker shade uh, lip liner on this and then put yash on oh my god it looks 
stunning i love this it's very different it's very unlike me and i like subtle lips so this is perfect so if you're looking for a subtle nude color like this is yash is amazing and the formula is amazing you can see i don't have any uh, lip balm on yet while it's a matte lipsticks what i love about mac is while they are matte lipsticks yet they are very smooth on the lips they are very easy to apply and they are very moisturizing on the lips i love their formula because they are very very smooth on the lips it's like a mousse on your lips let's move on to the next guys let's take this off i have two more shades with me this one is again a very nice everyday lipstick with a lot with a little bit of shine and it's a little glossy lipstick so this is cosmo by mac and look at the beautiful shade it's so pretty it's again one of those perfect nude colors just that this is not matte amplified lipstick that's the range of lipsticks and let me swatch it oh it's such a beautiful pinkish shade guys this is the beautiful shade cosmo it's a little shiny lipstick which is very nice for an everyday wear again a very nice pinkish shade for everyday wear and it's a slightly shiny so it looks very nice it gives you like a very healthy lip look it is a very pretty shade and it looks very very nice it's very smoothing on the lips again because it's slightly a little shiny on the lips but very very moisturizing and the lips look very nice and fresh after using this this is the shade you can see the sheen on this lipstick i love how creamy and smooth these lipsticks are and how beautiful they look let's move on to the last one okay guys i have the last lipstick here with me this again is a lipstick that is very very popular this is mocha by mac again a such a iconic color such a popular color uh this is the shade it's a little deeper nude color and for someone who's medium tone or fair to medium or deeper tone this is a lipstick that will really suit everybody because it's like a nice deep nude color let me show you my arms look beautifully nude this is the last uh, lipstick this is mocha by mac it's such a beautiful perfect brown pink uh, nude color i can't even explain the color but you can see the various rainbow of nude colors on my arm right now this is the last nude lipstick of mine which i highly recommend you guys it's a satin lipstick so satiny soft definitely and it's very very has this beautiful sheen to it but this again it's satiny yet it's very long lasting guys and very smooth on the lips it's literally like i glide it on my lips it's super smooth love the shade i think it's a very rich color with your indian wear with your western wear with anything to office all these shades in fact are such that you can wear everywhere you can wear with every outfit this is mac mocha for you i think it's so pretty i actually should wear this more often out of all these six i wear mehar and velvet teddy the most of all of these six shades you can see they're so pretty and this is the look of every lipstick i hope these swatches help for you to make the right decision in terms of what shade do you like what undertone you like and what suits your skin tone these six are my top recommendations of nude lipsticks for you guys one brownish one peachy one pinkish and you're sorted in terms of your nude lip collection i love all of them i wear all of them all the time i highly swear by them especially their formula and especially the fact that my lips feel really nourished and beautiful and the lip color looks very rich uh love it you know which one was your favorite which one you have or which one are you planning to buy i'm going to link all of these lipsticks down below mac usually keeps coming up with offers that's a good time to buy also i'll share the nika links which is easier and i hope you guys like this video i'm going to be coming up with a lot of more recommendation videos so just stay tuned and please let me know your requests for favorites videos what category of products you want me to recommend i really hope you guys like this video stay tuned. 
tuned on my channel please get more active a lot of you are not that active please comment down below please make sure you like the video you know i used to see a lot of youtubers say like share and subscribe and i didn't really ever say it because i feel like if you guys like my content you'll automatically do but i feel it's important for the growth of a youtuber uh, for the audience to interact with them so i hope you guys will interact and support my channel and yes thank you so much for watching guys bye i really hope you guys like this video